Hey guys, Youngblood with you, and today I wanted to continue our little journey through the star map, and we're going to focus on the Davian system today. Davian is actually a pretty interesting little system for a couple of reasons, and the first of which was that its discovery was actually considered very improbable. Um, science, for some reason, had thought there would be likely no more jump points coming out of the Croshaw system, although we're not really sure why that prediction was made, but when Wendell Dobbs calculated that jump and shocked the scientific community by finding this system, um, you know, it actually ended up spinning up a lot of advancements for things like jump engine technology and scanning technology that probably led to who knows how many new discoveries, as well as some of the fancier equipment we're using today. Davian, though, as a system, has four planets all in orbit around a uh, orange-type K star. And for some reason, no one really thought that this system was that special. You know, there weren't really any noteworthy resources. There weren't really any great military advantages. None of the planets were particularly great terraforming locations. And ultimately, it just seemed like this place was kind of destined to become this sparsely populated boondocks of a system. That wouldn't end up being the fate of Davian, though, because there's another very interesting aspect to Davian. Um, back in 2438, a nav jumper by the name of Vernon Tarr shot at what he thought was a private spacecraft that was trying to steal his claim in that system. Now, what he thought was a private spacecraft actually turned out to be a Banu merchantman, and this was the first time our two species really ended up meeting. How appropriate that the first interaction with a human being was them shooting. Classic. <clears throat> But luckily, no one ended up dying as a result of uh, you know, this little altercation. But after this meeting, humanity uh, and just the military as a whole decided it would be best to kind of bump up security in the sector a little bit and really try and set up meetings with the Banu Protectorate. And this was all the foundation for our relationship with the Banu. Now, as a funny little side note, Davian isn't actually that close to Banu space. It just so happened that this particular Banu merchantman was being piloted by a Banu fugitive trying to run away. Gotta love the randomness of the verse, but it totally changed the fate of this system. And what was originally destined to become some forgotten little pass-through of a system, now everyone wanted a piece of Davian. Real estate was being sold at exorbitant prices. Businesses were being, um, you know, getting really involved with the potential trade with our new friends and to get their hands on new materials and technology and really anything. Davian exploded, and in a very good way for Davian. Now, the first planet, Davian, uh, Davian 1, is basically just a big old hunk of rock. That's it. No core, no minerals, no value. Uh, it's been said to this point that no one has set foot on this piece of a crap planet because it's worth absolutely nothing. So explorers of the verse, you could potentially be the first person to put your footprint on Davian 1. Davian 2, otherwise known as uh, Cestulus, is where all the action really happens in this system. And the weird thing about this planet is that while it has people on it, it's, it's got just a really thin atmosphere that doesn't make it a great place for people to live. So everybody actually ends up living below the surface of the planet in these fancy biodomes. Um, you know, inside a series of biodomes lies the planet's most populous city, uh, Jada. Uh, and it's not the capital, but it's the one that everybody kind of associates with this planet. And it's the city where Aegis Dynamics has their corporate headquarters uh, and some of their initial production facilities. Now, this place isn't where you're going to go see finished ships rolling off the assembly line, but it is a location where components are created. And based off this ship-producing giant being located here and the lack of natural resources on this planet, there's a constant need for the importation of goods to keep the factory going, just among the other needs that the people of these cities have. But what I'm getting at is that Davian could be an incredibly important place for those of you who are looking to take on cargo missions. So on top of the connection with Aegis, the system has also been known to be kind of the gateway to the Eastern Empires, and with people wanting as much trade with the Banu as possible, it's a really good place to make that happen, even though it's not actually that close to the Banu. The lore talks about how so many different paths just kind of crisscross around this system, and there's plenty of ports and facilities to entertain space truckers. So um, while you know there's probably some value in exporting goods out of this system from the Aegis Dynamics factory, it's probably going to be a really good place to bring materials to sell at a higher price than you purchase them. Now, Cestulus has also been kind of a pretty contentious place for some reason. You know, over the past years, you know, back in 2529, um, the introduction of the uh, unified currency, otherwise known as today's UEC. Um, had many fearing that there was going to be this big economic crisis. So out of fear and anti-government sentiment, there was this two-week-long riot in Jada that was only stopped when the military stepped in. 
about 16 years later, there was this terrorist bombings that were planted to kind of collapse some of these underground biodomes, which is pretty messed up, and ended up killing thousands of people. And finally, recently, Sestulus has really become this hub of people wanting to get onto a soapbox. So people come around the verse to talk here about negative things like hate for our alien friends or trying to lead secessions away from the government. But based on that history of turmoil, the security in this system doesn't mess around, like, at all. Um, they're both local military, they are government soldiers that keep things in order. And that means that your cargo gets scanned when you enter the system, then again when you land, and again when you take off, and again once you're exiting the system. So while it sounds like smuggling may be hard to do, and probably borderline off-limits in this system, it's worth considering that they also give hope by stating that only the most advanced smugglers holds or scanning blankets can get by. So if you're willing to put the money and the time in, you could charge quite a high price to bring what no one else can possibly do. If you're the only one capable of bringing the need, that means the demand is high and the supply is low, which is good for you if you want to get into smuggling. Don't expect it to be easy, though. <clears throat> the third planet, Davian 3, is another planet with an acid-based atmosphere. Sounds pretty unpleasant. Another planet with not enough resources to make it worthwhile, especially to risk an acid burn and who knows what damage to your ship, so no one lives here. The, that acid environment, though, including acid pools on the surface, is what makes this a great place to hide a body, and that's exactly what the rumors are about organized crime. They say that's what's happening here. Drop a body out of orbit, it hits all sorts of acid on the way down, uh, and if it's not completely broken down by that point, it's probably going to end up in a pool of acid, but it's a good job to make sure that you're hiding the true identity of whoever you're dropping there. Crazy. But that also means that there is a possibility um, that there's a lot of crime in this system, which is good for bounty hunters. Or you could even be on the darker side and say if you want to be a pirate, um, you have options to dispose of people on ships that you're trying to steal if you don't want to allow them to live. Pirates are probably going to need to be careful here, though, since the system security is apparently super well-trained elite dudes. Um, Davion 4 is the last planet and is very beautiful, even though it's an inhospitable gas or ice giant. Um, the planet was used as a staging point in history for kind of military missions based on its very stable orbit right around that major uh, jump point in the system. And that base that's in orbit is now a Banu Friendship Museum where tourists can go to see kind of this dumbed down version of our relationship with the Banu. Um, but with how far away it is, it's just really not close to anything outside of that jump point. And with how far you have to travel to actually get there, that means the funding is really at risk for that uh, station. And finally, to wrap this up, Davian has five total jump points, which is a whole lot, which makes it a really good location for commerce. And those jump points are leading to Killian, Farron, Sol, Cano, and Cathcart. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this series because they're a lot of fun to make. Um, so I'm going to continue just to kind of move across the galaxy and hopefully hit your favorite system soon. Um, if there's anything in particular you want to see or maybe changes to the format, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for a whole lot more. Have yourselves a wonderful day and take care.